What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. I am currently at the gym right now. I am on the stair machine. I just hit 15 minutes. Today I'm gonna take you through a complete leg day workout. I brought my mini mics with me, so I'm really hoping that we can do my first mic'd up workout on YouTube. Let's head over to the squat machine. I'm having a lot of anxiety because I literally have my tripod set up at the gym right now. I'm gonna start on the hip thrust machine. So typically I do like to start my workout doing usually squats. Today all the squat machines are taken. So I'm gonna start with hip thrust and go heavy on this until the squat machine opens. So just gonna load up a little more weight. I'm starting with 225. I was actually just explaining Someone asked me how to do this machine. Planting my feet on the platform, pulling this bar up. You want your hips and your pelvic bone to be lined up with the pad. Pressing into your feet, this little side thing, I don't know if you can see it, but it's gonna drop when you press. And then starting to drive, pressing through the feet, squeezing my glutes at the top. Three, four, slow and controlled, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, squeeze, holding that at the top, press up, one set. Honestly, that was a pretty comfortable weight for me, so I'm gonna do my second set and do 12 reps. After this, go up in weight. Because I'm starting with this exercise, I think I'll be able to push my weight on it. Just wanna warm up, make sure I'm not going too hard too soon. Let's do it. Round two, press to the feet, drive, and one. Really holding that time under tension at the top and squeezing to have that muscle, my connection in your glutes. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pushing. Eleven, twelve. Hold, hold, hold. Get it up. Really felt it in my hamstrings at the end of that one. I'm gonna put a little bit more weight on. That honestly was a good, really comfortable weight, but I do want to try to push myself on this workout. A little tip: if you're not feeling it in your hamstrings, make sure you walk your feet out. I'm definitely feeling it though. Taking a quick rest, and I'm gonna move into set three. Going in for set three, I added an extra 25, so I have three 25s on. It's better to have a comfortable weight and not jeopardize your form. I'm gonna ease into it and ease my way up. We're gonna go from 10 to 12. Gonna try and push. <sighs> this feels good. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hold. That was heavy, but it was like a good heavy where I felt like chest right challenging. This will tear your glutes apart. It's like one of the best workouts for your glutes. Last set, definitely kind of glad that I started on these because they're so, so good for your glutes. But honestly, I low-key dread them. You guys, I'm gonna move over to the squats. The machine just opened. Let's do this. And I'm gonna try and end with a few pulses, really try and tear up the glutes at the end. Let's do it. <clears throat> Ready? Pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that was hard. Got those pulses done, got the thrusts done. I'm definitely feeling the juice. Let's move over to squats. Okay, so you want them to be a little bit smaller or shorter than you are because you, you don't want to like lift up onto your tippy toes to get the weight up. So these slide. I remember when I first started in the gym, I wanted someone to make a video about how to adjust the machines because I never knew how to make things taller or smaller. I'm just gonna do just the bar for like 10 seconds just to get my form down. Having a comfortable spot on the back, feet hip distance apart, toes turn, turned out a little bit. Coming down, pressing, driving through the feet. Down, holding it, driving through the feet. I have a form down. I just like to always do a couple before I start. If I didn't start with the hip thrust, I would have done a warm up here, but I'm gonna go straight into it since I've already warmed up. I'm gonna start with 45. This is pretty much a pretty heavy start for me. I'm gonna put on some music for this set because I need to get the hype going.
Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty heavy. I usually don't do, like I said, that weight off the bat. I usually start with like 25s on the other side and then go into 45s on the other side, but I am absolutely wrecked from that first set. The second set should be easier now that we got that first one out of the way. Squatting is something that you either love it or you hate it. I feel like I've always had a pretty good relationship with squatting. I've always started out most of my leg days with a heavy squat. It always just gets all the muscles warmed up. It's a full body exercise. You're targeting your glutes, your hamstrings. Push yourself, do those squats. You won't be sorry. I'm ready for a set two. I have a whole video on the mental aspect of lifting and how like you have to be in like the right headspace before you go into that lift. I'm channeling positive energy, getting hyped for it. Set two. That's that did feel a little bit better. Sometimes the weight flies, other times it does not. Last time I had 45s on either side and then 10 on either side, and I thought I wasn't even going to be able to do three. I did eight. So I'm gonna do one more at this weight. Set number three, let's do it. I was gonna do four sets of eight. I kind of want to listen to my body. I think I'm just gonna do the three sets. Like I said, the last time I came, I had 45s and a 10 on either side. It like literally flew. I did eight reps so easy. Today, I'm really struggling on this weight. I'm gonna just call it here and listen to my body. Go into RDLs next. I definitely feel like that was a challenge. I'm gonna the squats out of the way. <laughs> I had like literally zero motivation to come do this workout. I did not want to come. I was supposed to do this yesterday and I was just so burnt out by the end of the day that I was like, okay, I'm gonna come today. And then today I came around and I am just not having the most motivation in the gym. I feel like it's super relatable to have these phases where you're not feeling motivated. I'm just trying to get it done. Once the workout's in motion, I feel like it's easy to keep it going. It's a little bit hard of a workout to get to. Let's do a 25 and a 10 on either side. I filmed in the gym like a million trillion times, but I've never done a mic'd up workout. I have my wrist drops. These really make a difference if you have a hard time with your grip strength. These are definitely game changing to lift more weight. You don't want to be like too reliant on them, but I do try and use my, my wrist drops. Slide these on. Going for anywhere between 8 to 12. Depends how heavy your leg they feel. Planting the feet, making sure you're engaging your core. You want to lift from everything. Lift from your legs, don't lift from your back. So core engaged, shoulders locked in. Pressing through the feet so you don't lift. Really engage those glutes up. Make sure your feet are planted. Last one, I'm gonna do eight. That weight felt comfortable, but challenging. My wrist straps did not feel like they were in a good position. All right, I kinda wanna do these a little bit faster. So just a quick recovery going into set two. I'm gonna play music for this set. I need something to get me through. Hold on, face go wild when I pull up. They all on me like a one thing. Think I got what you need when I hang on. Hop off, you're a freak and I'm handsome. Slide up in the club like two chains. This snake is on top of the full chain. Turn out like a star, no new name. That one felt better. Eight. Number three. Plant the feet. Drive. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> 
We're gonna call it at three sets of eight. I'm just starting to feel it in my lower back. I definitely wanna just pay attention to my body, not overdo it. The pump is definitely pumping right now. I feel like a little lightheaded. I feel like I pushed myself. I'm either gonna do hip abduction, glute hyperextension, maybe both of those, or hamstring curl. All right, I'm gonna do some hamstring curls. I was gonna do some glute hyperextensions, but I was also kind of like gonna target the lower back and I don't wanna do any more lower back exercises. So this is a nice, easy little thing we can pop in. What's it on right now? I think it's on 35. Yeah, that's fine, okay. So hopefully I'm not breathing too loud into this thing. Tucking the chin, doing a nice and easy time under tension. Four, five, this is kind of light, six, let me go up a little bit more, seven, Let's go for round two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I just did one set off camera because I got a little bit stressed and someone asked how many sets I have left, so I just wanna speed it up. But last set, number four. Squeezing at the top, slowly letting go. Squeeze, yeah, it's definitely harder. Four, five, six, seven. All right, we're just gonna do eight on this set. One, two, three. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with these. Let's move on. Last but not least, I'm doing hip abduction. I feel like the same way that I always start with squats, like nine times out of ten, I'll end on hip abduction. It's just a really good quick burnout. Just doing Oh, that is way too light. I like to sit on the edge rather than like putting my back against this thing. I personally feel it better if I sit on the edge, lean forward. I usually like grab my hands together. That way I'm really like pushing out and targeting. By leaning forward, I feel like I'm able to really push out and you want to make sure you're not going too fast on these. I feel pretty good about this workout. I feel like considering I did not want to come today, I definitely had a good workout. I'm definitely sweating. It was challenging. Even though I was not motivated to come, I feel like it always feels good when you finish that workout, especially the ones that you didn't feel motivated to go. It feels so good to just know that you got it done, you pushed through. I always think how people say like discipline over motivation. And sometimes it's hard to have either one. Just think I did two so far. One more after this and then we're done. I feel like this was a very realistic workout. Not doing necessarily all the reps that I thought, listening to my body. Do what feels best and enjoy and have fun. Last one, let's do it. Okay. And we're done. That is going to conclude this leg day. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, this is my first time doing a mic'd up workout, so I hope that this footage turned out okay. And thank you for bearing with me in my creative process, trying something new. I hope they enjoyed this video. I love documenting my workouts. That is one of the first reasons I ever wanted to start making YouTube videos was to record my workouts. Please be sure to give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you do not miss future videos, and I will see you next time. <laughs>